Shark in the Park by Phil Roxby Cox and Stephen Cartwright. Pup is in the park. There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. Pup wakes fat cat. She meows. Why did you bark? There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. It has a sharp, pointy fin. Big Pig is lighting a fire. What a bright spark. There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. It has a sharp, pointy nose. Hen is with her pad and pens. She makes bright squiggles and marks. There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. It has a sharp, pointy teeth. Sam's sheep is asleep where it's dark. There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. A shark, meows fat cat. A shark, grunts big pig. A shark, clucks Ken. Snores Sam sheep still fast asleep. Yes, a shark. There's a shark in the park, Pup barks. Make your way to the lake. Up pops Jake's snake. So there's Jake's snake in the water. There's no shark in the park. It's Jake's snake and his rubber ring. So it's Jake's snake with his shark floaty ring. All right, so today we're gonna make a shark craft. So, the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of construction paper, so whatever color you like. And then I drew a little bit of an outline on mine. And so to get a nice symmetrical shark, I drew his body, his fin, and his tail. And then I folded it in half. If you cut it along the line folded, when you unfold it, that's what you'll get. So my next part was to make his teeth, and so for that I took a piece of white paper and I folded it in half again. You've got your folded sort of oval shaped paper and after that I went along and I cut the shark's teeth in all the way around the oval and you can do as many or as few teeth as you want for your shark you just keep cutting all the way around have lots of teeth and they have lots of different sets of teeth. All right, so when you unfold that, that is going to be your shark's mouth. So when I attached that on there, I did just make an extra little fold so that his mouth is going to open nicely. So you're actually going to have two folds along there, one in the center and then one up a little bit higher. And then I glue that onto my paper so that it flips nicely. So if you look at my finished one here, his top, his top is a little bit smaller when I did that second fold there. And then I added his eyes. So then you have your nice shark with all his teeth.